Okay, let us have a look at this question. Which of the following reduces the capital stock in an economy? Depreciation of asset, spending on infrastructure rather than capacity building. <clears throat> and it says one, two, one and two, neither one and two. But a capital stock is whenever there is appreciation, right? So if you have gone ahead and seen, uh, sorry, whenever there is depreciation of the asset. So if you remember capital stock at the period KT plus one, if you solo model, so what is the capital at the period T plus one? It is the capital at the period T minus depreciation of capital plus investment done during this period. So depreciation always reduces capital. It always reduces capital. So one is correct. It reduces capital in the economy. Spending on infrastructure rather than capacity building of financial institution. Agar infrastructure pe spend kare, it is a kind of investment. That is fine, right? So answer will be A. So let us read down the reason. Capital stock is anything that adds to the productive capacity of economy. Spending on infrastructure increases the capital stock of the nation. So infrastructure pe spend karne se capital stock bardha hai. It increases. It does not decrease us. Okay, beta. Let us look further. Which of the following is are correctly matched? Okay. So, <clears throat> so let's have a look here. Um, PJ Nayak Committee uh, Sectors Bank Governance of Public and it says Ratan Vatal Committee Digital Payment. Beta, actually both of them are correct. This is also correct. This is related to the governance of public sector banks. Commit, committee ka naam ye hai. PJ Nayak Committee and it was formed to see how public sector banks are working. And beta Ratan Vatal Committee was formed to check on the digital payments. Ye jo aajkal sab UPI karte hain. Iske liye, digital payments ke liye jo committee form thi, that was Ratan Vatal Committee. So both of them are correct. Both one and two. Please remember these names. Usually, aise a jata hai that, um, you know, who, who, uh, which committee is related to governance of public sector bank, which committee is related to digital payment. You should know these committees. Okay, better come to the next part. Consider the following statements about Uday scheme. <clears throat> okay. It is a voluntary, it is voluntary for state governments to join the Uday scheme. The Uday bonds cannot be kept as G securities under the SLR. So uh, tell me in the comments below if you have ever heard of the Uday committee or the Uday scheme. Agar kabhi bhi iske baare mein suna hai ya sirf Uday Chopra ke baare mein hi suna hai, go ahead and tell me that, okay? So beta, Uday scheme is basically Ujwal, likh lete hai pehle. It is Ujwal. Discom Assurance Yojana. Ujwal Discom Assurance Yojana. Year 2015 May it was launched by Ministry of Power and uh, uh, New and Renewable Energy. And <clears throat> its aim was to go ahead and uh, you know to give more um it was it was to go ahead and to uh, financially uh, turn around the discoms. Now, one question is very big. That one very important question is released from That what is discom? Right? Most of you may not know what is a discom. And discom is necessary to know about discom. So, uh, so, if you do Google karo se discom, you will get a lot of different definitions of discom. Ki. But hume, huma, you know, we have to go ahead and look at from our side what is a discom, right? So, beta, discom is basically the distribution companies. If I talk about the power sector, ki baat karu, if I talk about the power sector, the power sector basically has three levels. एक होता है पावर जनरेशन, राइट। सेकेंड इस पावर ट्रांसमिशन, पावर जनरेट तो कोई हाउ विल दैट बी ट्रांसमिटेड? एंड लास्ट होता है पावर डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन। 
पावर सेक्टर हैज थ्री पार्ट जनरेशन ट्रांसमिशन एंड डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन जो डिस्कॉन्स होते हैं वो पावर जनरेशन का काम करते हैं दे गो अहेड एंड दे लुक एट पावर जनरेशन पार्ट राइट इज दिस क्लियर सो दैट इज द रोल ऑफ द डिस्कॉम्स नाउ गोइंग फर्दर वॉट अब लेट्स गो बैक टू द क्वेश्चन सो इट इज इट इज वॉलेंटरी फॉर स्टेट गवर्नमेंट टू ज्वाइन द उदय स्कीम दैट इज एब्सोल्युटली करेक्ट दैट इट्स नॉट इट्स नॉट समथिंग दैट इज इज अ कंपल्शन इट्स अ वॉलेंटरी थिंग डू यू वॉन्ट टू वॉलेंटरली ज्वाइन दिस और नॉट एंड उदय बॉन्ड्स के नॉट बी केप्ट एज जी सिक्योरिटीज करेक्ट अच्छा बेटा अब एक चीज इसमें और समझने की कोशिश करते हैं उदय बॉन्ड्स होते क्या हैं ठीक है क्यों चाहिए ये बॉन्ड राइट सो यू नो बेटा व्हाट हैपेंस इज बॉन्ड्स क्या होते हैं बॉन्ड्स बेसिकली वेन एवर समवन वांट्स टू रेज मनी राइट दैट इज व्हेन दे हैव दे कैन गो अहेड एंड दे कैन इशू बॉन्ड्स जैसे गवर्नमेंट बॉन्ड इशू करती है पब्लिक में राइट right? so who issues these government bonds government of india he uday bonds issue karti hai theek hai ye uday bonds jo hote hain these ek bahut sare bonds na kisi sector se related hote hain jab wo sector bahut acha perform karta hai to un bonds ki value bhi badhti hai theek hai so basically jo bhi hamare uh, uday bonds hote hain us pe you go ahead and you get some interest on it you get some return on it and इसका जो इम्पैक्ट देखा जाता है इट इज बेसिकली रिलेटेड टू द पावर सेक्टर राइट इट इज रिलेटेड टू द पावर सेक्टर सो सो बेसिकली दिस इज समथिंग दैट वॉज लॉन्च इन नवंबर टू थाउजेंड एंड फिफ्टीन राइट अब जो ये उदय बॉन्ड्स हैं ये गवर्नमेंट सिक्योरिटीज के अंडर एस एल आर में नहीं रखे जा सकते सो सो लेट्स लिंक दिस टू द बैंकिंग सेक्टर If we talk about the banking sector, we know that in the banking sector we will have uh, government secure. जो भी uh, banking sector होता है उसमें we have C cash reserve ratio CRR and statutory liquidity ratio SLR है ना cash reserve ratio को तो cash में ही रखना होता है and इसको in terms of securities आपको कुछ amount अलग कर देना होता है right so You can ये securities होती है government securities that each bank has to purchase, but you cannot go ahead and keep उदय bonds as part of these SLR securities ये नहीं कर सकते right? So so this is about it ये दो जो points है otherwise बेटा I will suggest you to go ahead and read about these उदय bonds in detail क्यों इन्हें प्रीमियम पे लॉन्च किया जाता है इनकी क्या कॉस्ट होती है स्टेट गवर्नमेंट इशू करती है या सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट इशू करती है उदय 2.0 क्या है राइट विच विच टॉक्स अबाउट इंस्टॉलमेंट ऑफ स्मार्ट प्रीपेड मीटर्स ठीक है मेकिंग कोल अवेलेबल इन द शॉर्ट रन तो ये जो भी चीजें हैं यू शुड गो हेड एंड रिसर्च अबाउट इट बट एज ऑफ नाउ बेट इज बोथ दीज ऑप्शन आर करेक्ट दैट इट इज अ वॉलेंटरी इट इज वॉलेंटरी फॉर स्टेट गवर्नमेंट टू ज्वाइन उदय स्कीम and it cannot be kept as g securities so c is the correct answer both one and two okay let us come to the next question india's growth story from the eve of independence to liberalization phase is largely termed as hindu rate of growth what it refers to so hindu rate of growth right basically <clears throat> kya kehta hai ki india was not able to grow At a very high rate. They were very. If you uh, read my lecture on the five-year plan, you will understand that there were multiple issues. Kabi drought, kabi famine, kabi apka uh, war with China, with Pakistan. So, because it was so many issues, that is the reason why India was not able to grow. Right? Growth rate was very low. so the slugging sluggishness ki we are not able to grow at a good inter, at a good growth rate that basically is called hindu rate of growth exact rate kitna tha average to 4% theek hai so between the period not 1990s tak nahi tha between the period 1950s to 1980s we on an average grew at 4% 
एंड जो उस टाइम के लिबरलिस्ट थे उन्होंने ये टर्म की थी इन पर्टिकुलर दिस टर्म वॉज पॉइंट किसने दी थी ये टर्म इट वॉज पॉइंट बाय राज कृष्ण he gave this term in 1978 and he to- said that this is um an annual rate of growth which is very very low acha bahut bacche confuse ho jate hain due to ye religious belief hai kuch ya ye nahi it is not related to any religion beta this is just saying that the rate of growth was very low that's it so non inclusive growth story nahi religious belief nahi irrational development agenda nahi the phenomenon of sluggishness in the growth rate yes so answer to this question is d that the rate of growth was very very slow okay come to the next question beta which among the following changes have been made for gdp estimation in india changes in base year very important beta this comes as an mcq in itself the base year of india has been changed from 2004 5 to 2011 12 very important very important theek hai ye this is a correct statement acha question for you you will tell me when was base year changed which year ye search karke batao change in gdp estimation from gdp at market price to gdp at factor cost na that has not happened we are still doing it at market price capture of economic activity from mc21 database <clears throat> yes this is correct that you now have uh, economic activities being uh, captured from mca database acha now can you tell me what is mca21 database ministry of corporate affairs that is mca21 mca21 basically kya hai it is an e governance initiative matlab electronically hum sab kuch govern karenge we will try and govern everything electronically right and in this what 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 are we going ahead and uh, why are we calling it as uh, mca21 agar aap kabhi dekho to beta if you if you go into the government websites right you will understand that mca21 kya karta it tries to automate all the process जितने भी लीगल रिक्वायरमेंट्स हैं कंपनीज एक्ट के अंडर जितने भी आपकी और और जो भी चीजें हैं इट हैज ट्राइड टू गो अहेड एंड ऑटोमेट एवरीथिंग राइट सो द एम इज टू ब्रिंग ई गवर्नेंस द एम इज टू गो अहेड एंड ऑटोमेट एवरीथिंग एंड उसी के अंडर ऑल इकोनॉमिक एक्टिविटीज आर बींग कैप्चर फ्रॉम एम सी ए ट्वेंटी वन डेटा बेस नाउ सो दैट्स द करेक्ट स्टेटमेंट सो वन एंड थ्री आर करेक्ट एक क्वेश्चन में ना इफ आई स्टार्ट गिविंग यू द इन्फॉर्मेशन इतनी इंफॉर्मेशन होती है आई कैन स्पीक फॉर आवर्स ऑन जस्ट वन टॉपिक बट देन वी हैव टू कीप मूविंग ऑन सो इट इज योर क्यूरियोसिटी कि वंस यू वंस यू रीड समथिंग उसके ऊपर और रिसर्च करना इट्स इट्स व्हाट यू शुड बी क्यूरियस अबाउट राइट ओके बेटा 